Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. Today let's talk about PFSense. I live in the Netherlands, that means I have an internet provider which is uh, giving me internet access but also IP television, right? So I have KPN in my case and KPN gives me access to internet through a fiber connection and on that same fiber connection it's giving me an IP TV stream uh, for the services. So when you use PFSense, you have to set up PFSense in a specific kind of way to be able to have internet access and also that routed IPTV to the set of boxes you have from your internet provider. In my case, I have two set of boxes from KPN in two different rooms in my home and I have set up PFSense so it provides that IPTV stream to both those set of boxes. Now, we will dive into my PFSense configuration in a minute, but the configuration I will show you guys in the video, it's a live configuration. So that means I will not change anything, but I will show you all the configuration steps needed to set up that IPTV and have it accessible in your home to those set boxes. Let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is assign some VLANs because like you can see in the screen, I have set up VLAN number six and four because those are the VLANs from KPN. It, this depends on the provider you have. In my case, I have KPN here in the Netherlands and they are providing internet within the VLAN tag 6 and IPTV with VLAN tag 4 from their network. Now, I have to tell PFSense to pick that up and configure that. So the first thing you need to do is create two VLANs. One is for internet and one is for IPTV on that interface, which is connected to that internet connection in your, uh, in your home, right? So as you can see here, both VLANs are running on that same physical interface. This physical interface is connected directly to that internet connection configured in my home. When you have created those VLANs, you need to assign it within PFSense. As you can see here, just click on interface and click on assignments and you will have the option to assign those VLANs with a specific name. In my case, I already have done this. As you can see here, I have my WAN IPTV interface, which is assigned to that physical one and VLAN, VLAN tag number four. Now, to make this interface work, because this is the WAN side, right? This is the internet side. And to make it work and to get the right, correct configuration from my internet provider, I have to set up this interface with some specific settings. As you can see here, I have enabled DHCP, I have disabled IPv6, and then there is some options here you need to take care, and you need to configure this exactly as shown in the screen. That means those send options, you should have those, you should have that information in that field, and also in the request options field, you have to enter this exact information. You have to enter this because this is which will tell the KPN server site to give you a specific configuration and IP for that IPTV stream. Now, if you configure this, you will see that PFSense will get an IP on this interface and this IP is a private IP. So within PFSense, if you go on, click on status and then on interfaces, scroll down to your WAN IP interface, WAN IP TV interface, and you will see it has an IP4 address, which is provided. When this appears, you know you are good to go on the WAN side. That means your PFSense is now able to receive that specific IPTV stream from your ISP. In my case, it's, that's KPN. Now, another thing I have set up specifically in my home is because I have two IPTV setup boxes. I use one in the living room and one in the bedroom, right? That means I have to have something running within my network and be able to provide that stream to both of the setup boxes if needed be at once. So in order for this to work, you have to make sure that you have switches in your home network, which are able to do an IGMP configuration and pass an IGMP stream to uh, end clients, to endpoint devices. Now in this screen, in this window, as you can see, I have set up a specific DHCP scope because I have a specific VLAN defined within my network 
where only those IPTV setup boxes live. So this is separate from my LAN interface. In this specific IPTV network within my home, I have a DHCP server configured with nothing special, just to find a range, as you can see, he, see here, and DNS servers, etc. Now that's fine. You have to make sure that the switch where you connect those IPTV setup boxes within your home are able to uh, get the information using this specific VLAN. And this is the VLAN only for those IPTV boxes within your home. As you can see here, I have that STB VLAN specifically defined for those IP uh, setup boxes within my network. Within my network, I'm using VLAN tag 110. That's a specific VLAN tag for only those setup boxes. So what I did is in my switches, the switch where I have connected these setup boxes, uh, that switch port is configured to only give out information and connection information for VLAN 110 to that setup box. So that's the way you have to configure it in your home. So with that DHCP server set up for that specific VLAN within your network, if you connect and of course the switch is configured. Uh, so if you connect that setup box on that switch port, you have configured for that internal VLAN. That means that setup box will now get an IP address from the range you have specified for that VLAN from that DHCP server from PFSense. So the next step is to configure the IGMP proxy component. Right, so if you go to click on services within PFSense and click on IGMP proxy, you will see some configuration options there. In your case, make sure that you enter this exact same configuration as you see on my screen. That means you have to enable the IGMP connection, the IGMP uh, option, and then you have to define an upstream and a downstream configuration. As you can see, it's very specific because the upstream is pointing to my WAN IPTV interface. This is the interface configured on the WAN side of your network from the internet side. Remember, this is the configuration we have with the interface uh, VLAN number four, right? The VLAN number four, that's the IPTV VLAN from the from my ISP network in, uh, in this case. And I have to set this up with some specific values here. I have a specific VLAN configured within my network where only those IP set of IPTV setup boxes live, right? The name of that network of that VLAN, well, I have uh, named it STB VLAN and you have to configure this with the type downstream. It's very important with the type downstream and then the IP range of that specific VLAN. In my case, that VLAN in my internal network only for those IPTV setup boxes this is the IP range I'm using there. So in my case, that's the IP configuration. That's the value I need to put in there. So now it's time to set up some net rules. Um, normally when you set up PFSense and you didn't change the out outbound net mode in PFSense, there will be specific rules set up automatically for you as you add networks to your PFSense. In my case, I have uh, selected the option to manually create net rules because I'm using a lot of different um, policy-based routing rules. Uh, that's for another video. But in my case, uh, the thing that counts is I have uh, chosen the option to create manual outbound net rules. Now, and because of that, I need to create some additional rules and guide the traffic from those IPTV setup boxes in my home to the specific network on the internet side, on the provider side. As you can see here, I have created the first rule, which is routing that uh, specific network, that specific internal IPTV network I have configured. It's routing those requests to that WAN IPTV interface. Remember, this is the one interface you set up specifically with the VLAN ID of your ISP, where the IPTV configuration comes from. So create an additional rule which is also telling pfsense to create a net rule and to make sure that this network right this, that is the this, the ip configuration of that internal iptv network i'm using and so that it is able to reach out to the specific iptv interface on the internet on the provider side and then i have a third rule configured there as well and this third rule is telling pfsense to 
allow access uh, from that IPTV internal network to the internet through my ISP, ISP default internet. Um, so make sure that you have these three specific rules configured in the same in the same order as you can see here in order to have those IPTV setup boxes be able to reach out to the IPTV network on your ISP side as well as the internet to get the configuration and be able to show you the streams. Make sure that you check the VLAN numbers in your specific case for your specific ISP. In my case, this is KPN and I have a fiber to the home subscription with them. They are providing me internet and IPTV on that, on that same uh, fiber connection. So the next step would be to go to the firewalls rules. Now, now, before we go to the firewall rules, I will set up some aliases because an alias within PFSense makes it simpler to set up firewall configuration, firewall rule configuration. So if you go to aliases, make sure you have two specific aliases configured. I have highlighted these in my screen. You will see them. The first one, that's the multicast network. That's the multicast KPN network, which is providing that IGMP stream. And additionally, there is another one where you have to specify different IP ranges. Remember, this will change. This will be different uh, depending on your internet provider and their network configuration. In my case, I have set up two specific aliases and these aliases, I will use them in creating my firewall rules. Now it's time to create some firewall rules. As you can see here, I am on the interface, which is uh, that WAN IPTV, that's the interface configured with VLAN ID 4. And that's the interface I get from my ISP where my IPTV stream is coming from. So I showed you the alias configuration I configured within PFSense. As you can see here, I'm using those aliases to configure these firewall rules. Remember that these firewall rules need to be in this specific order to work. And you also have to enable a specific op option in all those firewall rules. As you can see here, there is a small cog in front of the firewall rule. If I click on that firewall rule, I will show you what that cog does. Make sure that you click on the advanced options when you create the firewall rule, because when you click on the advan advanced options, you will have this option there. Allow IP options. This is very important because if you don't enable this, those IP streams will not work, will not reach that internal network where the setup box is uh, waiting for a specific type of traffic, right? This option within PFSense allows it to send that specific type of, of traffic to route it from that ISP network, that IPTV ISP network to your internal network where those setup boxes are living. So make sure you check this box in all the rules. Let me go back to the list of rules as you can see here these three rules have that allow ip option feature checked make sure you check them as well well the first one is just the protocol you have to allow igmp from everywhere in my case to this um, to be able to enter pfsense from the wan side and then you have to set up some udp rules using those aliases i just i showed you just now and also with this specific destination. After setting up the WAN side for that IPTV firewall rule part, we need to go to the LAN interface. This is the, I, this is the LAN interface where my IPTV setup boxes are living, right? This is that specific internal network I have configured. As you can see here, I have set up some specific IGMP rules as well and one internet traffic rule, right? So. Make sure that you, again, when you, you can see the small cog in front of the firewall rule there, make sure that when creating those rules with these options, as you can see here in my screen, that you enable that advanced option and allow IPTV option. When you enable it, just configure the IGMP and IPV4 option there as well with the same source and destinations as you can see in my screen, and then create a separate rule to allow that internal IPTV network to reach out the internet. 
and and that's because uh, when those IPTV, for example, those IPTV boxes are able to show you Netflix and other uh, internet apps. Now, for that, for those internet apps, it will need to reach out uh, through the WAN interface to the internet. That's why this rule is here. Just to make sure, there are several parts to get right here and set up that uh, configuration and have that routed IPTV with your own PFSense router to those IPTV uh, setup boxes in your home, in your internal network. It can be a challenge, a little bit of a challenge. Of course, when you have questions, reach out to me. Um, just reach out with a comment or send me an email and I will try to help you and get you moving forward. As always, thanks again for watching and see you next time.